Filming. Welcome to Jimmy's Old Time Radio Show. It's hard to believe, but today marks 100 days since the pause. Coincidentally, it's Father's Day. I've got uh, some shots of my youngins behind me here. So I want to look back on the last 100 days. It wasn't as productive as I might have wanted it to be. I should have played about 120 concerts in that time, but uh, instead I've done some other things. My work has been entirely focused on virtual programming. So in the last three plus months, I've gained 60 subscribers to my Jimmy's Old Time Radio Show channel. Of the 4,000 views that I've gotten in the last three and a half months, many of those, I'm sure, are recreation managers that have been showing my, my content to their residents. All of this work intended to help managers find ways to uh, have their residents pass their days with a little bit of fun, hopefully. So I'm now at over 5,000 views. 80% of the views have happened just since the pandemic. 5,000 isn't much compared to some channels, but I, hey, it's a definite gain. In all the videos I've created, I've put up four full concerts. They're each an hour long. I do have plans for more of those. It's just that I was growing tired of filming in my living room and I've been waiting for opportunities to get into other areas. I filmed a bunch of shorter videos, I think 40 just since the pause, and there are now 82 music videos on this channel. And I also have a playlist for managers, maybe you're on it now, and this is the 10th video intended for managers. Plus I've done a few short community projects, uh, even one for the local church. I have another channel as well, the Splash Pad channel, uh, you'll find the link down in the doobly-doo, but it's my kids and I, it's our summer project where we visit splash pads. And it might be something you want to show your residents as well. It's a real feel-good channel. Although I've been trying to play guitar a little bit each day, uh, 10 minutes in my living room isn't the same as playing, you know, two one-hour concerts. Here's what my fingers used to look like. So I've lost my calluses. But I have about 17 shows, I think, booked for July. Outside shows are all weather permitting, of course. But hopefully it'll start getting me back into performance shape. And we'll see what August and the fall brings. Of those outside concerts, I hope to film them. I did manage to get a, a nice half hour movie from the one concert I just played at Woods Park in Barrie. Thank you so much, folks, for being the first to host me post-pandemic. For the other outside concerts coming up where it's possible, where I have permission, I look forward to filming on location. Getting out of this living room. I'm also working on a Canada Day video. I've had some submissions from uh, facilities. I put out a blitz. I didn't include everybody I know. I tried to pick, you know, a hundred suitable facilities uh, asking for uh, submissions. I have some nice content there now. There's a few more days until I have to put it together. Canada Day is coming up soon. So if you're out there and you want to submit something, just email it to me. You can contact me for details. Even if you weren't in that original Blitz, you're invited. Not gonna use everything I get, uh, and I'll be splicing and boiling down and assembling whatever I receive. I'll be playing a couple of songs as well. Oh, Canada, probably. Just trying to tie in Canada's seniors as one big community. That's really what this channel is about. Oh, what else did I do while I was off? Or rather, what didn't I do? I was supposed to just get home from my seven week Western Canadian tour two nights ago. I would have just got home in time for the end of school and uh, Father's Day weekend, the beginning of summer. That, of course, didn't happen. You know, in about two months, by the end of August, I'm typically booking the following year. And so I'm wondering, what do I do in 2021? Do I try to book this tour again? Do I continue what I'm doing or do I just throw it all away? I think I've decided I have to continue what I'm doing, although I am sort of preparing for other possibilities. I did finish my administrator course. Uh, I took a program over the winter in, in long-term care administration. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what my long-term plans are, but just having that in my back pocket gives me a little more confidence that um, should things not change quickly enough for this musician, uh, I'm prepared to go back to the industry. The challenge with that though is if I go back to the industry, that pretty much shuts down my business. I mean, this took me 10 years to get to this state. Even if I was to restart it, it wouldn't take 10 years to get it going again, but it would you know, take a couple of years. You can't just turn it on and off again. And so I'm weighing very heavily the prospect of closing the business 
but I really don't want to do that. I want to continue entertaining. I'm at 1,926 seniors home concerts now. I've been billing myself as 2,000 concerts because I'm right at that, that threshold. So I need to get this next 74 concerts under my belt at the very least. So soon I'll be thinking about 2021. Anyway, happy summer, happy Father's Day. Stay healthy, everybody. COVID is still out there. We're gonna be cautious for a while yet. Maybe with phase three, I'll be able to entertain indoors a little bit this fall and through Christmas. Hopefully you've received my suggested guidelines. I've shared all my guidelines for safe music programming. I've shared it with venues. I've shared it with the Ministry of Health. I've posted it on my Facebook. And I should do a video specifically about that as we work toward bringing music and live entertainment visitors back to our seniors. Happy Canada Day.